The stadium is starting to fill up here as we age ever closer to kick off here at the Ram McBride Brandywell Stadium between Derry City and Bohemians. It's going to be a fantastic game. Well, we're going to go through the team sheet tonight. Both sides are on change. We'll start with Derry City. In goal number 26, it's Brian Maher. Number two, Ronan Boyce. Number six, and captain Owen Toll. Number nine, Jamie McGonigal. Number 10, Patrick McElhaney. Number 14, uh, sorry, number 12, first of all, Matty Smith. Number 14, Will Patching. Number 16, Shane McElhinney. Number 17, Cameron McJanet. Number 20, Brandon Kavanagh. And number 23, Cameron Dummigan. We're going to go over now to the Bohemians lineup where tonight it's starting goal. It is James Talbot. Number 3, Tyreek Wilson. Number 5, Kieran Kelly. Number 6, Jordan Doherty. Number 11, Ali Coote. Number 9, Junior Ogidi Uzukwe. Number 10, Dawson Devoy. Number 11, Liam Burt. Number 14, and Captain Connor Levingston. Number 19, Sam Peckham. And number 20, Promise Omachiri. Patching plays it on the Smith. McJanet crosses in the 18 yard box, headed out by Wilson. Ball, uh, first touch actually did come off Kavanaugh, but it's now been taken away from him by Levingston. And here come Bohemians on the break. It's, it's Liam uh, Burt. Plays it through the promise. Can promise get the shot away? He can. And it's Bohemians to take the lead here at Brandywell Stadium with only 15 minutes gone, Gareth. Brilliant. Liam Burke was actually very good for that. We saw Liam Burke about two or three minutes before that down this left hand side. He just seems to find space really easy. Derry Derry said he don't seem to be picking him up. But once he got possession of the ball there, um, he, he always looked good. And then you saw a promise coming from deep. It's in there to see if he can create a bit more danger for Derry. Owen Toll in there, Shane McElhinney also Cameron McJanet who scored a, a fantastic header against UCD two weeks ago McElhinney to the back post, here is Mc, uh, McJanet and as he heads it across goal, it's gone out for a goal kick Yeah, that was half a chance actually looking at that routine, you, you might see the replay here, McJanet shouldn't be there, he's got to get out of the world, Owen Toll they've blocked his man, he's run but the back stick plays the overlap and run through the uh, Ronan Boyce Back it goes to Patrick McElhinney. McElhinney going to the outside. Inside now to Kavanagh. Back to McElhinney who goes to ground in the box. And that's going to be a penalty to Derry City. I tell you what, D, right? We might see it in the replay. I'm not too sure. It looked to me he went down easy and it was the shoulder. I, I'd be very surprised. Well, obviously it's not going to be over overruled now. But that, that, to me, that, if that was given against Derry, I'd be very, very disappointed. Can he make it 7 in 14? Yes, he can. It's so like Derry City won, Bohemians won. Brilliant. We've seen it so many times. He is so assured when he gets into that position at 12 yards out. He always takes the wee stutter. I, I personally don't like it. I, I'm a guy who just goes up and, and, and picks a spot. He likes to unsettle the goalkeeper, maybe on fouls him a little bit and then slide it into the corner. Brilliant by Pachi. Um, he, he, to me, Wilson was, was too narrow in the first half. Um, whether it was Brandon Cavan or, or Boyce on, on the right back getting forward, they were getting in too easy. Um, but I think they've, they've kind of... McElhinney from distance, and that's gone over the crossbar, but Talbot definitely had that one covered, Gareth. <laughs> that was ambitious. I mean, he must be... He, he's all of 38, 39, 40, 40 yards out there, uh, and Talbot is a, it, he's a quality goalkeeper. If you beat Talbot from there, 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 there'll be serious questions asked. I'll tell you what, it's a free kick as well. It's, it's perfect. If, if you asked Will Patching where would he want to take a free kick from, it would be from here. Patching steps up on the right foot over the wall and it's just gone whistling past the near post and gone out for a goal kick. Brilliant. Tal Talbot wasn't getting there either. He was watching it. Um, again, brilliant. Been able to, it was just enough distance out from the goal to be able to get it up and down. Um, but again, his, his, his technique and his quality from dead balls is... Operates as junior, but he doesn't get the better of Owen Toll. Levinston gets the slightest of touches, but it's been turned over again. And here come Derry City. Ball played over the top of the defence to Jamie McGonigal. He's got Agenton in the box. He's just sent the defender for a bag of chips, but his shot quite poor and easily dealt with by Talbot. It still remains one each in this fixture. I think he was trying to pick out Agenton there. It's not like Jimmy. When Jimmy takes a shot, it's, he usually puts way more pace on the ball. I think he's actually looking for Agenton to run across the keeper and just to get Nick it in. Third out by McJanet. Now he towards Agenton. Touch back by Patching. Here comes Bohemians on the ascendancy. Uh, turning the screw was Kut, who moves it out to the left-hand side. Cross made towards uh, Promise, who's in acres of space. And that free header hasn't been converted, much to the dismay of Keith Long in front of us. What a delivery. 
by Wilson. Incredible. We know how good he is when he gets into the final third, but that was a delicious cross. Shane McElhinney was going back, and it was perfectly weighted just over his head, but he's got to do better. Or the big physical, physical guy, he's got to come out and punch it there. And that's honours even here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, at the Ryan McBride, Ryan McBride Brandywell Stadium. Derry City haven't gone 1-0 down thanks to Promise. Derry caught on the counter attack. Uh, Promise fed through by Burt. And in Derry City from the penalty spot with Will Patching. To be honest, I think they're the best team on, on the counter attack in this league. And they punished us, um, exploited the space that we left. And that, for me, they're very, very good at it. And uh, we responded quite well. We got ourselves back into the game. And I thought second half we were slightly better. Um, but we just lacked that bit of clinicalness and our ruthlessness at the top end and we got in the really good areas but just didn't have the, the quality tonight that we've showed in recent weeks. We're disappointed. Um, we think it's a soft penalty. Um, uh, we, uh, we scored, we played really well first half um, so I suppose um, on the balance of play I think we deserve to go in ahead at, at half time and we think it's soft the, the penalty decision I haven't seen it back so uh, but in real time it looked like it coming together shoulder to shoulder in the box and, and um, Pat McElhaney uses all his experience um, in that scenario so um, uh, and, and the referee gives a penalty so we're a little bit disappointed not to go in ahead at half time second half we knew there was going to be a bit of an onslaught from Derry um, we knew uh, that we, they would uh, take, uh, control the game a little bit more, dominate the ball a little bit more, have more possession, and that we'd have to be resilient, sit in, and, and try and catch them on the break. And um, we probably had the best chance of the second half. Promise probably needs to score um, from from a brilliant cross from Tariq Wilson from the left. Uh, Promise needs to needs to take that. And if we do, um, you know, I don't really remember a huge amount of saves for James Hubble to make second half. We restricted them to chances from distance. Um, we got bodies behind the ball. We frustrated the game and. And um, like I said, we, we, we tried to counter, uh, but we didn't have as many counter-attacks and transitions in the second half as we did in the first half. 